All right, so it's 2.48 a.m. Monday, August 28th, 2023. And one of the worst things that could possibly happen to me appears to have happened. And that is, um, I seem to have lost Obama Phone 3. With like five weeks-ish of this vlog on it. Not backed up anywhere else on a uh, rather large micro SD card. The phone is junk. Like most people who would see that would just think it's a garbage phone because screen number two is shattered to fuck. But it works. Not putting any more money in it. Like it works. It does what it needs to do. But uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I don't have it on me right now. I got Obama phone five. Uh, in my hand, I have my iPhone 7 Plus shooting video right now, and, um, oh yeah, Find My, I think the app is called Find My, um, found my iPhone 6S Plus. It surfaced around 6 p.m. last night. In the apartment complex where Crystal lived, Crystal, the uh, woman I had a fling with about a year and a half ago that was really hot and exciting and lasted all of about four days. Um, yeah, that apartment complex. My iPhone is there. I, I, I can't really make a judgment on what happened. You know, did a coworker snag it and take it to his apartment? Is it in a rental car that was leased out by Hertz? And the renter found it and powered it up? I'm kind of leaning towards that. Um, Priscilla asked if maybe it was in a... Uh, if maybe it was just like in the car and the person renting it doesn't even know it. And I'm like, well, that's possible. But... The way I just suddenly showed up at Find My, with an address and a time and a location, and it gave me the battery level of about 50%, leads me to believe that somebody found it in their rental car and uh, hit the power button and lit up the screen, and and that caused it to jump onto Mint Mobile and download the most recent whatever from from Apple's servers, which immediately locked it down and put it in stole it mode, stolen mode. Put the phone number of Obama 5, which is um, Rodney's number, on the screen, and then I think I put a message on it saying, saying, um, if found, please return to Hertz at Sky Harbor. And let the person know this belongs to an MLS driver. I'm not trying to disclose any personal information, but it belongs to an MLS driver. That should be enough for whoever works for Hertz, assuming it goes to somebody that works directly for Hertz, to go, oh, oh yeah, those guys. All right, thank you. Anyway. I'm straight up in, kind of in shock. I might have lost a Obama Phone 3. Obama Food 3 has absolutely no cash value other than maybe the value of that um, 256 gig micro SD card. That's worth something. But yeah, the rest of the phone is absolute garbage. The new screen I put on it a couple months ago, it's cracked to shit. I did actually ask Al if I could get a protective screen for it. He goes, oh, nobody makes a screen for this. Which kind of disappointed me because back when... Uh, Jeff, also known as Cell Phone Jesus, did all my cell phone stuff. Um, whenever I had some rando phone, he would just go through his boxes of screen protectors and find one that it might not have been made for that phone. It might not have been made for that phone, but it was close enough, and he would find it. And 
and he'd put it on there for me. Obama Phone 1, which was some kind of UMX piece of shit, had a screen protector from Jeff. Former owner of... Um, oh my God, what the name is... He had a legitimate cell phone store for a long time over near the VA off Indian School. Wireless Phone Booth. Probably still has a Yelp.com page because they never delete anything. Yeah, whatever rando old piece of crap phone I came across or cheap Obama phone I came across, he would always find a screen protector that would fit it. Anyway, when I asked Al to get a screen protector for Obama Phone 3, which is a uh, T-Mobile Revel 5, which was actually made by, I think, TCL. It's not a bad phone for what it is. I've sang the praises of Obama Phone 3 many times. I mean, hello, it's lost service, you know, many, many months ago, and I still continue to shoot most of my vlog on it. But um, I might have lost it with like five weeks worth of content. So, ouch. Well, spoiler alert. About two weeks into the contents that are on it, I ran out of space in the micro SD card, so I started shooting on my... Not always, but mostly, yeah, maybe about half the time ish. I clear up a little space on the micro SD card and then fill it up and then start shooting video on my uh, iPhone 6S Plus. And because uh, it had space, and then I fill up the you know, and well, I wouldn't fill it up, but. All of that would go onto the uh, onto the iCloud. Anyway, thanks to the iCloud, I still have that content, even though I don't have the iPhone 6S Plus. Um, by repairing my old iPhone 7 Plus, like I just got immediate access to my content on the iCloud. So I guess I'm just going to keep going ahead with that content. And um, I don't know. I'm going to post what I'm going to post. As I always say, it, it it is what it is. I'm doing the best I can with what I got. All right, question. If something happened, but you don't remember it, and nobody else remembers it, and there's no record of it, did it actually really happen?